Hi. It's Fred. Fred. Oh. You go first. Brittany and Fred. I got him on the camera. <laughs> All right, so uh, just a quick status. Uh, I have my operation well, on. Maybe people don't know what we what we are doing or what we've done. You want to give a little synopsis? Okay. Um, so uh, we are married, obviously, uh, going through um, <laughs> the vertical sleeve gastric surgery, VSG surgery, uh, together. Um, so this is kind of chronicalizing that. Uh, myself and my heaviest weight was uh, 417, um, really about 4, 424 is my heaviest ever. And then it went down to 417, went to talk to the doctor, etc. cetera. Uh, surgery weight uh, was 393, and uh, uh, I had my uh, surgery on October the 9th. Uh, so uh, I just weighed in yesterday at the doctor's office. And I lost 29.60 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and say it's 30 pounds. I'm just going to say 30 because I round up. So, um, but lost 29 plus pounds. Um, so exciting. Yeah, I know. It is exciting. It is exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, the main thing that I would say is uh, before I went to surgery, I had put on 171 pounds of muscle. Um, so, uh, of course, afterwards, uh, doing after the surgery, I had to to the gym or anything to that just been walking. And uh, not really doing a lot of protein yet because um, I really don't take water really. So, anyway, long story short, uh, the 29 pounds of that was mainly muscle that I had built up. So, uh, that's the only thing that really worried me. Uh, so, she told me, you know, it's my two weeks out. I'm in my third week now, which is mostly fluids. Uh, what they call it full, full fluids. So, it's like the. Uh, uh, the uh, protein shakes and drinks um, was the main thing they want you to focus on uh, during this time. So uh, that's, you know, what I'll be getting there. At least anywhere from 60 to 90 grams of protein a day. And I must admit, uh, once I started getting uh, the protein in, uh, I have I had a lot more energy. Uh, so, you no, know, today uh, was a good day. So um, it definitely does work. I do not recommend eating anything uh, during this time, uh, you know, because I was a week off, so I thought that during you know, my third week I would be ready for soft foods. <laughs> and my doctor told me not to do it, uh, but since I already cooked in, pre in preparation for it, I figured, you know, Cooked I'm gonna give it a shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try me a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. Um, but I appreciate that she cooked, because then I didn't have to cook. Yeah, she she appreciates <laughs> all my effort <laughs> for myself uh, that, that I didn't get to enjoy. So, yeah, <laughs> it won't okay. go to waste. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but um, don't 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 be in a rush to eat solid food. Uh, trust me on that one. Uh, I didn't have the dumping syndrome so it was no um vomit or anything to that effect but i will say uh that there definitely could have been uh i just didn't you know i i just kept on not letting it come up i guess you know, i don't know but um it it, it it can definitely happen so uh i would i would recommend uh following, <laughs> following what your nutritionist doctor everybody says uh, because it is not a good situation um one thing I do know is the same time, the same way they tell you to walk, walk, walk after you have the surgery, helps with your gas and stuff. Yeah, that's the only thing that helped me get through that point uh, was to get up and start walking and walking and walking. Uh, that help. I don't know what it does for the food or whatever, but it kind of helps settle it down. Yeah, it probably um, helps it move down. Probably so. Yeah, yeah. probably so. Because it kind of gets stuck in between here and there, between your stomach, et cetera. I don't know. Uh, but I, I won't be doing it again, uh, that <laughs> I can tell you. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to eat now. <laughs> as, crazy, as crazy as that sounds. But, uh, yeah, so that's the main thing i got to say for that. But enough of me. My wife has some great news. So go ahead. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so as Fred just mentioned, I am also going to have the vertical gastric sleeve surgery. And he started his process like a month 
mm. maybe a month and a half before I started. Mm. And honestly, just full disclosure, I wasn't going to have it. Um, I wasn't going to have it. I mean, I thought about it for years. Don't get me wrong. Like, this has been on our mind both for... At least 12 years. Yeah, at least 12 years. Um, but honestly, I mean, I never thought that I could afford it, for one. And my personal insurance through work doesn't cover it. So it was just kind of like, I'm not going to be able to do it. You know, I was happy for him. And I was on board with um, changing my eating habits and increasing my activity just to lose whatever I could lose along, you know, his process. But I was basically just going to tag along. And then something hit me. I don't know what it was. I was having a lot of issues with my knee. Mm -hmm. I was having really bad knee pain and stiffness and tightness and inflammation, I mean, as well. And um, had gone to my, my doctor earlier in the year, and she was just like, you know, well, we can let you do physical therapy. And I'm like, physical therapy? That's nothing but just working out. I mean, you just... Focusing on one area. I'm like, well, hell, I'm not working out as is anyway. So that's probably why I'm in the, in the re <laughs> probably why I'm in the situation I'm in. So if I'm going to have to work out anyway, then I might as well just get serious and work out. And then I had a conversation with Fred and he was talking about, you know, his process or whatever on this, this surgery journey. And we started talking about finances. And he was like, you know, I've already met the, I will have met the deductible on my insurance. You know, so why don't you think about it? I mean, pretty much you won't have to come out of pocket too much. You know, if you do your surgery before this year's out, I was like, you know what? Duh, that does make sense. I'm on your insurance too, so yeah. hey, why yeah. not do a two for one? So that's really what happened. And thank God the light bulb went off, you know, within the time frame it did. So we stay within our 12 months. 12 months. Yeah. And um, of the deductible, I don't have to worry about waiting until the next year and starting all over again. Anywho, so that's really kind of how I got on board this time um, with getting um, uh, the surgery. So I went through the same process he did, went and uh, called the surgeon's office uh, of the bariatric group that we are um, going to. Got in, got to be seen by a surgeon, um, and then everything just kind of went fast paced from that day. And that was back in May. And um, did my six um, monthly nutrition sessions. Um, went through the process of doing the behavior specialist um, testing. And what else do we have to do? Had to do a GI tract test. Yeah. Um, what do they call it? A scope. Scope. GI scope. GI mm -hmm. scope. Gallbladder. Uh, well, you don't have to do that, but you don't have yours. Yeah, right. my gallbladder had already been removed years ago, so I didn't have to worry about doing anything like any testing on that. And I think what? Oh, and just blood work and stuff. Oh, <laughs> speaking of the blood work. <laughs> so I did do the blood work, and um, I did the blood work in August. Got a call from our surgeon's office in September to say. We got your labs back, you know, it's been a month. Did you know that you were severe anemic and you're going to need like iron infusion? So I'm like, well, first of all, no, didn't know I was severe anemic. Uh, and what the heck are iron infusions? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Never heard of this before. Does that mean I'm going to die? You know, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then the, the chick had nerve to ask me, do you have an oncologist that you see? Why would I have an oncologist? I ain't never. I never knew I had an issue, you know, although leading up to that, I was having other health complications. I was having really bad headaches, um, migraines, not just headaches, migraines, like for days at a time and dizzy spells and just really fatigue. And I, nobody could figure out what was going on. And I would call the nutritionist and ask her, like, am I getting enough food in? You know, was it that? Um, because I was tracking my food through the Barry Barry-tastic app so she could see what I was, you know, taking in. She's like, no, you're getting enough food. Maybe you need to increase your liquid. So try that. Try to add an ele um, what was it? Propel. The electrolytes, yeah. With the electrolytes to see if that would help. Nothing was helping. So when I got the call with my, my lab results, it was just like another light bulb went off. Like, duh, this is what's Ooh. going on. And so from that day when I got the call... I started um, 
taking more supplements, so I increase, well, not increase, but just start taking iron pills and my vitamin D3 and my B, B complex and B12s, along with my multivitamins that I never would take and for real, I always get on me. Oh, but never took them? Yeah, I take them religiously. I'm always right. Well, not religiously, but more than I, I was taking them. <laughs> I have a whole week. I probably take them six days. <laughs> Are you taking them tonight? I, I will. Okay. I will take them. <laughs> I will take them. And um, so anyway, so that, so then I had to meet with the oncologist and I have to do two iron infusion sessions. I did one last Friday. I got one, my next one, my last one this Friday. And that will help boost my iron levels up to where they need to be so that I shouldn't have any major complications um, with surgery. And went through the whole approval process. My insurance, as I told you, did not cover it. Um, Blue Cross Blue Shield. So we had to get the denial from my insurance before Fred's insurance, United Healthcare, would say it's a go. You can do it. They did. And I got my date today. Yay! So I'm going to be joining the Losers Bitch on November the 9th. One month, exactly. Woo! Exactly one month. Left. Fantastic. So excited. Mm -hmm. So this whole week, well, it's only Tuesday, but this week has been <laughs> like just full of emotions for myself. You know, watching Fred go through his surgery. Um, early part of October, and he's now what three weeks? Three weeks. Old. Three weeks out, and it's I'm not gonna lie, it's made me like doubt myself. It's like, do I really think I can handle this? Do I really think I want to do this? Do I really want to be restricted to just liquids, like water? Water? <laughs> I don't even want to drink water like that for real. So, like that's that's gonna be tough. <laughs> but I know that the end result is what I'm doing it for. I'm mm -hmm. doing it because I want to, A, get off my blood pressure medicine that I've been on since I was 18. And, B, I just want to be healthy. I want to feel better. Um, I don't want to bring on any other health complications along the way if I can possibly, you know, avoid it by any any means. Mm -hmm. um, just another thing. Another thing that kills me, being heavy set, you know, for my whole life, and every time you go to the doctor's office, and the first thing they always ask you, and I just got this asked when I went to the doctor Friday, you know, they ask you about your, your medical history and family history, and they don't understand why you don't have diabetes. Because <laughs> one, I'm black, two, I'm heavy set, and I'm a woman. It's just like, you sure you don't have, like, are you sure you tell us everything? All you have is blood pressure are issues? You I'm like, um, yeah, been tested for all that. And that just irritates me, but that's just a stigma that mm -hmm. heavy set people have, especially brown heavy set people. It, it, you have to have diabetes. It's really crazy because uh, forever in a day, the doctors never believe me. I go to the doctor, like, hmm, my blood pressure's not high. And, hmm, like, yeah, I don't think it, you don't have diabetes. Like, hmm, uh, you, you don't have this, you don't have that. You know, like, no, no, I don't have any of that shit. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, I'm just fat, man. I just, I just eat, I eat good, and, you know. I don't work out as much as I should, you know. This is who it is. I don't, but I don't, you know. I don't, I don't overeat. It's it's just it's a, it's a crazy thing. It's like I think, um, which is the reason why I think it took me so long to even agree to have the surgery. Uh, is that uh, your whole life people have a people only see you. They only see you. They only see you know what you look like. They see your belly, uh, and you know. <laughs> they see that first, obviously, is the biggest thing on you. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and they just feel like, you know, that is who you are. You know, right. like you're this big, fat guy who sits at the table or this big, fat woman who sits at the table and just eats, 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 eats. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And uh, it's never that simple. Uh, and that's mm -hmm. that's the main thing. Um, uh, you know, don't never, uh, if you're thinking about having a surgery, um, don't, don't doubt yourself. It's not the easy way out. It's not... Um, it's not. A sh it's definitely not a shortcut. It's a shortcut to losing weight to a certain extent, yes. But you still got to work hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That that that's just that. That's just that. No doubt about that. Uh, and trust me, in four in four well actually five weeks of not putting nothing in your body will have you will have you uh, checking yourself because uh, shit, you couldn't tell me I wasn't hungry for the first till till probably till I almost died yesterday trying to eat something. <laughs> 
you know, <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's like, but don't don't believe the hype. Don't let nobody uh, hate on you. Don't let nobody hold you back. Don't let nobody you know dissuade you from doing what's best for you. Right. If your insurance covers it, if you got the money, do it. Yeah. Don't wait till you're forty like myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just do it. Mm-hmm. It's just that simple. That simple. So, um, I guess we'll wrap up and um, we'll try to do more videos. It's so hard to get this one in a I video. Promise, baby. I will do more videos. So hard to do. <laughs> Y'all hold him accountable. <laughs> hold him accountable. Follow us on our Instagram account. I am VSG underscore Britty Fitty, and he is. Oh my God, it's so long. Um, fat boy, fat boy dot grown man, uh, VSG, VSG underscore VSG, something to that effect. If you just type in fat boy, you see my big face, it'll come up. Yes. So, uh, and all my videos are not big face videos, uh, because I'm not good at the whole selfie camera thing. So, you know what I'm saying? It looks it's, rough, it's fine. but it's rough. Oh, it's fine. That's yeah, fine. I like that big face. Hey, yeah, I know you do. <laughs> but yeah, follow us. Um, we post a lot on our Instagram accounts. Um, we don't have a um, a couple's Instagram account, but we do a lot of stuff together. I mean, oh, yeah. you'll see we do a lot. We work out a lot together. We haven't been able to recently because he's still recovering. Don't overdo it after you had a surgery. Don't overdo Believe it. me on that. Especially when you just own clear liquids. You might not wake up. <laughs> no, just yeah. But don't, don't, don't overdo it because you will feel the pain and uh, you will understand what overdoing it means. Yes. Uh, that's for sure. So, yeah. And if you are the spouse of a loved one who had surgery, always mm-hmm. check in on them and always make sure you <laughs> tell them to sit the hell down. <laughs> okay? Because, yes. This one over here feels like he's Superman for real. I, I, I know I call you Superman, but you know sometimes you have to take the cape off and say, "Hey, man down, man in distress." <laughs> yeah, you will be down. <laughs> you will be in distress. Yeah. You'll be sitting in your car like I don't think I'm gonna make it. <laughs> so, but that's about all we have for you today. We will definitely try to do more videos um, as this journey continues because it's gonna be a never-ending journey. Um, I would definitely try to document, well, I'm at the task cam to document my journey. Now, you know, that's a struggle if it takes me three months to get him on camera. So (laughs) y'all pray for me and pray that I can get some footage of my journey. I mean, you can do it like, you know, when the kid was born, we can have videos, telephone, camcorders. No, that's, you don't do, you don't do that's it. another video. I don't, I don't even want to tell you how he stressed me out doing childbirth. <laughs> he almost got kicked out. But anyway. All right, so that's all we have for you guys. Again, follow us on Instagram. Leave comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. We will definitely try to have more content for you. And we love you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.